several different disciplines. And let's start with the men's double mini trampoline final. The top performer in the second qualification round, the last to go, Ruben Padilla of the United States of America. Team bronze medalist from yesterday and a real contender. But there are others waiting to challenge. His own teammate, Thomas Mink, performed very well in qualification. And here they are, the eight gentlemen who've qualified for the double mini trampoline final. With the last to come out, the top performer in the preliminary round, Ruben Padilla of the United States of America. It's going to be great entertainment and it's wonderful that we're going to get the action underway with such... Campbell Robertson of New Zealand gets the final underway. 27-year-old from Christchurch, he trains in Rangiora. Same place as Bronwyn Dibb, medalist in the women's competition. It's his second World Championships. He's done brilliantly. He was 28th in his first World Championships. Look at him now. That's a nice, secure first pass from Campbell Robertson of New Zealand. Definitely into the yellow, but that was pretty secure. Nice looking twist position. Good power, heels together nicely. He's quite tidy from a form perspective. Little leg separation as he twists around. And landing in the yellow for a 0.6 landing penalty. He's been an elite equestrian as well. Very skilled sports person, Campbell Robertson. And he starts with a score of 26.8. So there is that 0.6 landing penalty applied. David Franco of Spain, team gold medalist yesterday. 20 year old is from Valladolid along with all of his teammates. It's very much the center of trampoline tumbling. Beautiful city from 1072, famous for its old town. And he's the reigning World Games champion as well, David Franco. He took the title in Birmingham in Alabama. Oh, that's good. That's a lot better than qualification from a landing perspective from David Franco. He had 0.8 of landing penalties in qualification. No such issue this time. Very elegant twist position, lovely toe point. And that's a zero for landing penalties. Unquestionably, gets his arms tightly into the body as he twists around as well. There's a lot of twisting going on in that pass. That's going to see him well in terms of an execution score, I'll wager. 28.6, so he is up by 2.2 marks from qualification. He's gained 1.6 of difficulty, keeps his execution the same and loses the landing penalties. To Diogo Cabral of Portugal, 23-year-old team silver medalist yesterday, just like last year, and the individual silver medalist in this event a year ago. I tell you what, we've got an interesting start to this final. Only the top four will make it through to the medal round. It looks as though Cabral will pick up a 0.6 landing penalty. This will give us a better indication of his form. And certainly he's in the yellow as he lands. Just gets a little leg bend as he comes down towards the flatbed. Not a great deal though. And maybe the toe point not quite as precise as we saw from uh, the likes of David Franco. It'll be interesting to compare that uh, from an execution point of view. Might be quite similar. Indeed it is, it's the same execution score. 28 for Cabral. Literally the only difference between him and Franco there was that landing penalty of six tenths. Everything else the same. Now to Gavin Dodd. 19 year old from Kamloops in British Columbia. He was a silver medalist in the World Age Group competition in Sofia five years ago. 
again nice secure work this is a good start from all of the gentlemen in this final his older sister Christina has been a World Cup medalist and that was uh, earlier this year so let's have a look again at Gavin Dodd gets the heels together tightly arms into the body it's well executed he's in yellow certainly so six tenths of penalties to be applied The last Canadian to win a medal in this event was Denis Vachon, highly accomplished uh, gymnast and coach who's just got back from the World Artistic Gymnastics Championships, where Canada won a women's team bronze medal. He was coaching uh, Emma Spence there. 28.2 for Gavin Dodd. His execution higher than anyone we've seen so far. Matthew French of Australia. 22-year-old debutant at the World Championships. His younger sister Amber and his younger brother Billy have both been international competitors in the world age group competitions. That's the equivalent of the Junior World Championships for trampolining. Always a bit off there and uh, he's done well to land that okay it's going to take a lot of landing penalty the full one mark unfortunately for matthew french and that's an example of what can happen when you just don't get the right angle as you strike down he's a little backwards just leaning slightly backwards i think as he lands onto the flatbed his form goes as well as he's coming out of the sloping bed element so unfortunately for him, this won't be a, a high score and will almost certainly rule him out of passage into the medal round with only the top four going through. But at least he's OK and he did well to land it safely. 22.1 for Matthew French. He's in fifth position. So at the moment, 26.8, that's Campbell Robertson of New Zealand, occupies a place in the final. So a score higher than that, and you'll displace him. This is Thomas Mink of the USA, 18-year-old from Washington, D.C., team bronze medalist yesterday. Goodness me, that's big work from Thomas Mink. Wow. That was breathtaking. So much height, so much height tucks in tightly and then he adds a little twisting work as well there's going to be some strong difficulty to this from the American his amplitude was remarkable yeah it had to be the highest difficulty didn't it 10.8 28.4 he goes into second place so the 0.6 landing penalty for mink david franco is the only one who's avoided a landing penalty so far to andre diaz of portugal 19 year old team silver medalist from yesterday oh he's off there and well done to the spotter Getting the mat in to preserve his safety. Well, he's, <laughs> he's had a very good World Championships and his reaction was quite philosophical after it. He's departing with a team silver medal at just 19. He's done brilliantly to make this final. Came in as the lowest qualifier. Just doesn't get the height he needs and that's where you have the coach making those split second decisions. Well done to that coach for ensuring the safety of his athletes. Yeah. 22.5 for Andre Diaz, so he will play no further part in the competition. There's just one to go. And it's the top qualifier. Ruben Padilla scored 30 in 
qualification with an 11.6 difficulty. Team bronze medalist, the 21-year-old yesterday. He's from Oakley in California. Magnificent. That's going into the final, no doubt about it. Oh, yeah, he's done it again. Ruben Padilla, dear, oh dear. The elegance of this young gentleman on that apparatus is a joy to behold. The first four will go straight into that super final, the second final. Gets lots of height. Pike position, first of those we've seen. Tucks the knees in tightly. Very distinct body positions in the first part of the pass. Look at his toe point in the pike position. It's really nice. Little details, very secure. Same again as he kicks out of the tuck position. Certain elegance to his work. That's a big score, 30.2. So that is exactly the same as in qualification, minus the 0.2 landing penalty. Very consistent work. And it means, therefore, that we have those four athletes going through to the medal round. The new format this year for double mini trampoline and tumbling. It used to be that all of the gymnasts did two passes, but now only the top four make it to the medal round. Here is David Franco of Spain, second best in the last round, but the scores are now discarded. It's a zero start. It's all about one pass for gold. And he's looking good. Now, is he in yellow there? I think he might have been. I think he might have been. And Franco was one of only three competitors not to take a landing penalty in the first round. Again, his form in the air is excellent. That's tough to see whether he lands in yellow. He's definitely off axis. Does he land in yellow or does he land in red and hop to yellow? We're going to discover that in a moment. That's a four-tenth difference. Depending on which it was, he landed in yellow. It's 27.6 for Franco. Gavin Dodd of Canada. Now, if Gavin Dodd finishes above David Franco, he's got a medal. With only four in this medal round and three medals to be awarded. This is ambitious and it's successful! Gavin Dodd of Canada! What a marvellous pass! They can barely believe that in the stands! Beautiful gymnastics from the 19-year-old from British Columbia. Tucks his knees in, changes direction and sticks that landing. Oh, yes. Could be about to follow in the footsteps of Denis Vachon. Yes, he's in the lead, 29.2. Gavin Dodd, that's a full mark better than in qualification. To Thomas Mink of the United States of America, this 18-year-old. He is also a diver, competes at a local level in the USA, which you can see from his gymnastics. Oh, he's very, very, yes, he was really off angle coming into the landing. Nonetheless, it's going to score well.
And it's all about where he actually lands, first and foremost, in terms of the penalty he picks up. Although he ended up quite far back, he may have landed in red. Little knee bend in the pike. And again there. Yes, he's only going to pick up two tenths of penalty for that. There will be some execution deductions for the stabilizing of his landing. They're called instability deductions. Can go up to a few tenths. And he's just gone behind Gavin Dodd. 29.1, and it means that Thomas Mink is guaranteed a medal, and it means the USA continues its streak of 10 in a row in this event, courtesy of Thomas Mink. Gavin Dodd has won at least a silver medal. And here is Ruben Padilla of the United States of America to finish this final off. 30.2 in the first round. If he gets even close to that, he will win. Had trouble at the World Games, though, at this stage. That should get the job done, and it's massive relief for Ruben Padilla after he repeated part of his pass from the first stage of the final in the second stage at the World Games. Didn't get the difficulty for it. Ended up finishing in fourth place. Now, he's done something that may well bring him his first ever World Championship title. 4 silver medals, 2 bronze medals. That's only going to be a point 0.2 landing penalty. Now, how is it going to compare to what we've seen so far? Dodd leads 29.2. Not anymore. 30.2. The champion of the world at last is Ruben Padilla, the 21 year old, after so often taking second place at the World Championships. Not this time. He's the best out there. And the extraordinary record of the United States of America in double mini trampoline at the World Championships continues. His teammate Thomas Mink takes the bronze and Canada's Gavin Dodd wins the silver medal. The classified results in the men's double mini trampoline competition. The bronze medal to Thomas Mink of the United States of America, silver to Gavin Dodd of Canada, and the gold to Ruben Padilla of the USA.